we can. Uh, we, ha we can and we must, but we must find a way also on how to move forward. There is, a, as, as you mentioned, Steve, uh, this crisis brings uh, the, uh, among the ter terrible, tragic world in Ukraine. It magnifies even more two big unmet needs, so two big questions, gaps that the society was already facing. Energy and access, uh, the dependence to fossil foods, and then uh, feed and nutrition and how to fulfill, how to feed a growing population. Those needs were there, now they got magnified. There are answers for moving us bolder to the future, finding alternatives to the fossil-based uh, solutions, finding alternatives that bring us sustainable food nutrition. Biotechnology, my, my, my field, is a key enabler of bringing those alternatives. And to make that change sustainably and then profitably also, we need to bring a regulation that accelerates that change. We have to stop subsidizing the past. Mm -hmm. If you look at energy only, 70% of the subsidies that they are provided to the energy sector, they are subsidizing the past. We're subsidizing fossil-based alternatives, fossil-based solutions, instead of alternative to fossil based. Only 20% of the subsidies but, but go into, a, into the future. I, I spoke to Pedro Sanchez and then I spoke to Mr Gallan, who, who criticised Mr Sanchez, and I know you're on Mr Gallan's side on this one as well, but subsidies, which are worth trillions of dollars globally, have just been increased around the world because of this crisis. That is the opposite of what you're calling for. I'm calling about not increasing the subsidies, just shifting them into right. the direction of the future. It's not about more, it is about on where. And it's also about putting the regulation that uh, clarifies and brings the transparency what is the real cost of the alternative. So we make a fair play mm -hmm. that we put the full cost of the fossil-based alternatives with the right carbon pricing. At the end, we all pay for that. Let me just come back. I know Jeff's going to come in as well, but what about the security of that supply as well? The people who are arguing for that retrenchment into perhaps cleaner fossil fuels rather than clean fossil fuels, they're saying we just need the energy security. There's the power of the N. Uh, and we're not going to move from a fossil-based paradigm that has been uh, here for us for um, uh, decades and optimized to the gazoo into a future greener alternatives in a blink. There is a momentum that needs to be a transition. And this is why we have to move diligently and firmly. This is why this crisis also brings an opportunity, an opportunity to pause, an opportunity to shift boulder into the future. We can't just not get paranoid and scared and only move backwards. We have to diligently align companies, regulation agencies, governments to set the investments, to set the path for the future.